Welcome back to another Mobile Legends video. I'm your host Galaxis and thanks for tuning in guys. Today what we're going to be talking about is how to get more battle points, man. I mean, everybody needs more battle points, right? You got those heroes that you've been playing, they've been giving you a chance to try those out and you're like, man, I need 32,000 battle points. Well, I'm going to talk to you today about how to get more battle points. Um, you've probably seen in the title, how can you get 40,000 to 60,000 battle points? I mean, you know, it's all here in the game if you take the time to go through there and, you know, calculate all the different battle points you can get. But, you know, the biggest point is don't squander your battle points. Make sure to save them for what you're looking for and, uh, you know, just keep on putting in work and grinding. So let's just jump on into it, man. First thing I want to talk about is your seven day sign in. Now that gives us 600 uh, battle points weekly. All right, you got to go through there and you got to just sign in and you just got to show up and you get those battle points if you sign in every day. So that's 600 battle points a week. And uh, you know, that adds up uh, over the whole entire month, that's 2,400 battle points. So, you know, there's a few battle points to throw in the pot there. Um, and you know, that's a big thing. If you're not signing in, there's a lot of other stuff, especially if you're a new, uh, I guess, newbie or new to the game, um, new recruit, I think it is what, what they're uh, giving is a new recruit level uh, reward. And that's basically when you're leveling up, um, you got to go through and you got to complete that within two weeks um, of starting your account or else you don't, you know, you won't be able to get those rewards. So it's something that actually pays off because you get like 1100 battle points, I think it is, from doing that. And then on top of that, um, you also get those cards that you can be able to, you know, try different heroes out for a period of time. I think it's like three days. So, you know, it works out pretty good. Want to make sure that you log in for certain on your first two weeks and you know honestly I wouldn't miss a day of logging in just because it'll sort of mess everything up as far as your your uh, weekly seven day sign in goes so uh, another thing we want to talk about achievements you get achievements for doing things like making comebacks and unlocking heroes things like that and you can actually get a pretty decent amount of uh, rewards for doing that um, you know you can get like 500 battle points weekly if you're pushing really hard and getting you know getting some more things unlocked and stuff it can really pay off so you know there's another 2,000 battle points that you can get a month if you're just pushing in the unlocking achievements and stuff and obviously if you get it on a higher level you know there's going to be less achievements so that's sort of more something that somebody's newer to the game will be able to take advantage of but again that's you know a couple thousand battle points a month um, so there we go. We're up to like what a 4400 is our running battle points total All right now looking at metal chests. Everybody gets a metal chest You can get a, one of those a day and you just got to go out You got to get some victories earn some medals and that's going to help you out um, Especially if you get MVP you get a lot of uh, you know stuff towards opening up one of those metal chests so you got to keep on working on that because when you open up a metal chest you get about 500 I've seen a little bit over 500, but sometimes it's a little under. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it 500. Uh, and you can do that once a day. So if you're doing that once a day and you have 500 you're getting from that, that's 3,500 that you can get a week. Okay, so I mean, it's pretty big to go ahead and get in there, get some victories and, you know, get some medals. And I'm not even sure. I mean, I think you might actually get medals from if you, you know, if you don't win as well. So I think that. It's just really a matter of being active in the game. I'm not exactly sure. I think you get a lot more if you win MVP or, you know, actually do really good and win in the game because I've, I've gotten quite a lot out of those, uh, you know, enough to complete a whole entire metal chest. So that's pretty cool. Something to keep in mind. And there you go. That is 3,500 uh, battle points a week. So that adds up, starting to add up. And at the end, we'll do a grand total. We'll, we'll just talk about everything. But let's keep on moving on. So, where's another way you can get some battle points? You can get 50 battle points per match, roughly. I mean, you know, obviously it's, there's a variable there. Um, that's why I said 40 to 60,000, because there is a variable on some of this stuff, but 50 battle points per match. Let's just call it 50 battle points per match. Let's say that you go out and you do 10 matches a day. That's not being super active. That's just spending a little bit of time and, uh, you know, putting, getting in a couple matches and just getting some experience. And, you do 10 matches a day, that's going to give you 50 a day. So there we are, uh, 50 a day is going to equal 3,500 a week. 
So, you know, we're not even talking about the monthly grand total on these. We're just talking about weekly right now. And that is, you know, pretty substantial, 3,500 a week, just to go out and do your 10 matches a day. So, I mean, there it comes down to, again, being active, getting experience in the game and being really active. So that's one thing to think about. All right, and now moving on. When you get free chest, you can get those, I think, every four hours. I think that's right. You get a cool down and then you got to wait. The free chest, you can get maybe somewhere around 100 if you're lucky. And, and that's going to equal out to be about 400 a day. You know, nobody actually, you got to get some sleep. So you're not going to get, get them every single time. But, you know, you can probably get 400 a day if you log in when you get up and uh, you know claim that and then also not to mention they continue to stack up anyway so it's not like you have to be there right at four or you you know you miss something or anything so that's something to think about and you know another thing that and that right there is actually 2800 a week if you're looking at 400 a day that's 2800 a week so i mean that's pretty pretty uh a big number as well so 2800 a week and we'll add that to our monthly total at the end now uh, another thing that you can get is your new recruits we talked about that before that's 1100 um, battle points you get and that's only in the first couple weeks so we have a pretty big number there you got uh, 3500 from metal chest weekly you got 3500 from battle points weekly those start to add up so let's go ahead and, and talk about that you got 2400 from your seven day sign in that's where we started you're going to get another uh, 500 for achievements and that's you know basically you can do that probably two times a month so we're going to call that a thousand i think we said two thousand actually i think you can maybe do that uh get those achievements at least when you first start um be able to get those within a month get about two thousand battle points but like i was saying earlier uh you know the achievements get to be a lot harder to to get those when you start getting leveled up and you, you know you've already gotten a lot of achievements so that won't actually work for everybody to get those extra couple thousand battle points but we're going to throw that in and uh, we also got the 14,000 from the metal chest that you get monthly that's 3,500 a week times your four weeks and then also for matches same thing you get 14,000 in uh in a month so that's uh, 3,500 at four weeks and then we got our free chest which actually equals out to 11,200 just from your free chest because, uh, you know, the 2,800 actually adds up when you uh, put it on, you know, four weeks and you look at four weeks in a row. So uh, that's 11,200. I know there's a lot of numbers, but, um, you know, another 1,100 from the new recruits. So that's about 4,500 and or 45,000, my bad, 45,000. And, you know, if you want to really push you could do another 10 matches a day, like 20 matches a day, if you're super active. And that could add another 14,000 uh, battle points to your total. So as you can see, you can get somewhere between 40 and 60,000 battle points. Not a problem. You just have to stay active and, you know, not waste your battle points. Use them for things that you want to unlock, you know, heroes that you want to be able to have. But hopefully this gives some people some inspiration to keep on grinding. You can have all the heroes that you want. Um, you know, that's almost enough to buy two of the top heroes per month. So, you know, after a few months, you can pretty much have everybody that you want to play with. So, guys, if this helps you out, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Let me know you guys want to see more stuff like this. And get subscribed. If you're new to the channel, get subscribed. Just keep on grinding, guys, and we will catch you guys next time. Relax us out. Thank you.